Good morning. Say hi, so I know you're here once you're here. I'm still getting used to these Facebook Lives, so I, if you are here, to say hello, and I, we'll start in five minutes. So make sure you've got your map ready, and I, make space for yourself. Let people know in your house if you've got people there to um, not disturb you for half an hour. So this is your time. We'll start in around four minutes. So while we're waiting, if you would like to, you can lie down on your back and close your eyes or sit and close your eyes. So this morning we're going to be doing a, a Hatha Flow class. Um, it'll be all about helping you wake up and move and stretch a little bit of balancing and enough to enough practice that you'll start the day feeling good hopefully and so it, because it's a short practice you, you we won't be going into any advanced postures or anything like that uh, but you'll be here to feel good and move your body so say hi if you're here so I know who's here I can see there's some people live, just be good to know who's here. So to say hello on the comments and maybe let me know how you're feeling this morning. Oh, hi, Laura. <laughs> Welcome. So um, I've got a really bright light in front of me. So every time I move close to the camera, it shines a big glaring light in my face. So uh, excuse that while I have a look. So I've got some more people online. Let me know who you're, who's here. <laughs> Say hi in the comments. Maybe like one word, one word for how you're feeling this morning. I woke up feeling stiff and tired. Uh, so I've done a practice this morning. I'm feeling better for it. So hopefully you'll be feeling um, better by the end of your practice as well. So we've got two more minutes before we start. So make sure you've got your mat rolled out, you've turned your phone off unless you're using it for this live and uh, let people know not to disturb you. I know it's not always possible when you've got kids at home or a dog or a cat or something that's gonna kind of disturb your peace, but do what you can to take this time for yourself. You had a good sleep, that's good, Laura. <laughs> Lucky you, good sleep. So, okay, one more minute. If you want to now get ready for your practice, you can lie on your back and place your feet on the ground. I'll be joining you in just a sec. Hi, Steve. Okay, who else is here? I know I've got some people live, so let me know who you are. All right then, let's get started. So, my mat slides because I'm on the carpet. So if you see me, if you happen to glance up at, your, at the screen and I'm kind of fiddling around my mat, it's because I've got a brand new carpet and um, it's lovely, but the mat slips so if you've got the same thing at home with a carpet just be aware of your your balance could be a bit harder on carpet so it's really good though when you go into a, a regular class and perhaps on a hard floor your balance would be better anyway so come down to lying on your back and place your feet flat on the floor Take your arms a little bit wider than your body. Feel the soles of your feet on the ground. Perhaps closing your eyes. 
So we're here for 30 minutes, which is quite a short yoga practice. We won't be doing anything really physically sort of sweaty and challenging this morning. What we're going to do is help you move your body, loosen up, stretch, get into your legs and just feel a bit more open and spacious and free. So bring your knees in towards you and take your hands around your knees, taking the knees apart, keeping the big toes together, keeping the hands on the knees, move your knees away from you, circle the knees back in together and then bring them back in towards your belly, doing that a few times, creating circles in the hips. So the knees go out in opposite directions and then they come back in together. So doing that a few times here, really slowly, warming those hips up, warming the lower back up. When the knees touch, circle your legs the opposite way round. So the opposite direction, creating little circles with the knees. It's only small circles, really slow. Okay, then bring the feet onto the floor and take your feet as wide as your mat. Take your arms a bit wider and turn the palms up. Then let both knees drop over to the left. Place the left hand on the inside of the left leg, letting the elbow and shoulder relax. And then stretch the right arm above the head. And if it feels good for you, you could turn your head towards the left, the same direction as the knees. Taking a few breaths here. Coming back to the centre. Bring your arms back down onto the ground. And then switch your knees to the other side. Over to the right. Placing your right hand on the inner right thigh. And stretching the left arm up. Taking some lovely, smooth, deep breaths here. Coming back to the centre. Place both feet onto the ground. Bring both knees in towards you, placing your hands around your knees and rolling left to right on your back. Then take your feet to the floor Roll over onto one side of your body, doesn't matter which side. With that top hand, press yourself up to sit and come to face the top of your mat. Crossing your shins. Take both hands and place them on the mat in front of you. And then come to hands and knees from here. Placing your wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Spread your fingers and thumbs. Start to lift the belly and round the back, dropping the head between the arms. And then the other way, tip the tailbone up as you look forward. Try to keep the arms straight without locking the elbows. Exhale, lift the belly, lifting from the lower ribs as you round your back. As you inhale, let those lower ribs drop and look forward, keeping lifted out of the shoulder joint. And again, one more time, rounding the back, lifting from the lower ribs, let the head drop. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Inhale, let the ribs drop, looking forwards. From there, move your knees back. Keeping the arms straight, simply let your hips fall to the floor. So it's kind of like upward dog, but not quite. And then come to hands and knees, bring your big toes together, sit back for child pose, hips come back onto the heels, take your head down to the ground. Then rise up again, inhale, take your feet apart, exhale here, let the hips drop. 
Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lift the hips, round the back, come to child's pose. One more time like that. Inhale, come forward, part the toes. Exhale, let the hips drop. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lift the hips, start to round the spine again. Child's pose. Inhale, come forward to hands and knees. We're gonna do a little twist here. So keep the left hand on the ground and take the right hand and slide it underneath the body and bring the outside of your right shoulder onto the floor. Take your left hand, rather than leaving it above the head, place it in front of the face so your elbow is pointing up to the sky. Then press into that hand, come up, over to the other side. Left hand comes underneath the body. Bring the outside of the left shoulder onto the ground. Move your right hand so it's now in front of your face. And you can use that right hand to press into the floor to deepen your twist. Come back to the centre. Bring your hands onto the ground. Tuck your toes under. Move your hips back towards your heels this time. So you've got your toes tucked under. And then you can slide the hands away so you've, your arms are at quite a deep angle here. Then lift the knees off the floor. Begin to lift the hips all the way up to downward dog, bending the knees for our first one. Maybe taking some movements in the body here, perhaps bending one knee and then the other. And then find some stillness here. From here, bend your knees a little. Walk your feet up towards your hands. Take your feet hip distance apart. And then bend your knees a lot. Let your belly relax onto your thighs. Let the head completely drop. And really round the back as you come up to stand. Keeping the knees bent. You don't want straight legs here. Bend the knees. And then when you're at the top, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, reach the arms up. Palms touch. Exhale the hands to the heart. Inhale again, reaching the arms up. Palms touch. Exhale, folding forwards, belly to thighs, hands to the shins, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, fold, hold it here, taking an elbow in each hand, swaying the torso side to side slowly as you wake up the body. Come back to the centre. Release the hands to the floor. Keep the right foot at the top of your mat and slide the left foot back as far as you can take it. So go as further than you think you can. Then bring the knee to the floor. We're gonna flow through some postures now. Inhale, rising up to Anjaniasana, your lunge. As you exhale, twist your torso to the right and open up the arms. Inhale, reach forward through that left arm. So you're reaching forward. Then take the hand to the floor and twist your belly to the right. Stay here for an inhale. And as you exhale, take your right hand inside your front foot. Swing your left foot behind your knee and come all the way round. So your arms come all the way round to the left. And you reach that right arm up and point the right toe. And then taking the right hand back down to the floor, come back round to the front. So we're getting into the joints here. Tuck the back, back toes, lift the knee. Step back to downward dog from here. And then as you inhale, come forward to a plank, bringing the knees to the floor. And then lower the whole body down all the way. Bring your forehead onto your mat. Bring your arms beside your body. Legs together, coming into Shalabhasana, your locust back bend, lifting the thighs, lifting shoulders, arms, chin. Tuck the toes, place the hands on the floor next to your ribs. Pressing up to hands and knees. Press your hips back towards your heels and come up to downward dog. 
Walk your feet all the way up towards your hands. Hands to shins or on the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Ad Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Uttanasana. Step your right foot back as far as you can take it. Bring the knee to the floor. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, twist to your left, opening up the arms. Inhale, reach forward through the right arm. Taking the hand to the floor. Inhale, twisting here. Exhale, left hand inside the front foot. Right foot behind the knee. Swing your hands all the way around to the other side of your mat. Pointing your left toes, reaching the heart up to the sky. And then left hand to the floor. Come back around to the front to a lunge. Lifting the knee on the back leg. Step back for downward dog. Inhale forward to a plank. Bring the knees to the floor. Exhale, lower your whole body down. Inhale for locust. Lifting the thighs, arms, chest, head. Tuck the toes under. Press the hands into the floor. And lift up all the way onto hands and knees. Press the hips back towards your heels. Coming to downward dog. Taking a few breaths here in downward dog now. So you can bend your knees in downward dog. You don't need to jam your knees back as such. Keep lifting the inner groins up to the sky as you spread the toes, spread the fingers and thumbs. Bend your knees even more. Look between the hands and walk or step to the top of your mat. Bring your hands to your shins or flat to the floor either side of your toes. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold. We're going to come up to stand. Squeeze the inner legs together as you rise all the way up. Palms above the head. Exhale, hands to the heart. Pausing here for an inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms above the head. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lift your chest. Exhale, belly to thighs, step the left foot back. We're doing the same again and adding on. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, twist your belly and chest to the right, opening the arms. Inhale, send the left arm forward, taking the hand to the floor. Exhale, twist to the right, reaching up through that right arm. This time, take your right hand inside the front foot. Bring the left foot behind the left knee. And instead of coming round all the way to the back, you're going to come up now and kneel on that left knee. Turn your right foot so the heel turns out and the toes point forward. Inhale, reach the arms up, palms touch. And then reaching over to your right, taking the hand onto the leg for gate pose. Breathing in on the inhale to that side waist. And as you exhale, Bend your left knee a little bit. Take your left hand away from you all the way to the floor. Point the right toes. Reach the right arm over the ear. Perhaps this time lift the right foot. Take the foot to the floor. Bring your hands all the way back around to the front. Tuck the toes, lifting the back knee off the floor. Step back to a downward dog. So take your feet. If they're not already, take them apart. If you're quite new to downward dog, Take your feet a bit wider than your hips and bend your knees quite a lot, pressing the hands into the floor and away from you. Taking some deep breaths here. Relax the head and neck. Draw the lower belly up. And then walk your feet all the way to the top. You're going to do the same on the other side. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Slide your right foot back as far as you can take it. Bring the knee down. Inhale, rising up to your lunge, and Daniyasana. Exhale, turn from the navel center as you twist, opening up the arms. Reach forward through the right arm, inhaling. Exhale, hand to the floor, reach up through the left. Lovely here. 
And then take your left hand inside your front foot. Swing your right foot behind the knee. Come round to the centre. Straighten your left leg. Turn the heels out and point your toes forward. Bring the arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Stretching over to your left. Inhale, back to the center. Bend your left knee a little, right knee a little bit. Exhale, right hand to the floor. Then straighten that right hip, pressing the hip forward, perhaps lifting the foot off the floor. Take the left foot back down. Bring the left arms back around to the front, coming into a lunge. Lifting the back knee off the floor. This time, step to the top of your mat. Feet hip distance. Exhale, folding here. Taking an elbow in each hand, swaying your torso from the hips. So it's not just your arms moving, it's your whole upper body moving from the hips. Release the arms. This time, take the hands to the hips, bend your knees a little bit, lift the chest, tuck the tailbone under and come up to stand. Release the arms. Bring the arms above the head, palms touch. And exhale, hands to heart. Take your hands to your hips. Bend your knees and step the left foot back behind you for warrior two. So right foot at the front. Warrior two, we turn the torso to the side. Back heel turns out, front knee is bent. Opening the arms, turn towards the front hand to look, to gaze. Softly, drop that front thigh, straighten the back leg. Inhale to straighten the front leg. So we're not staying long in these postures today. Exhale to bend again. Reverse warrior, turn the front hand. Inhale, reach up through that right side. Keep dropping that front thigh as it tends to lift in warrior, in reverse warrior. Inhale back to the center. Straighten your front leg, Trikonasana. Walk the back foot in if you need to. Tip your right hip back. Reach forward, get really long underneath the right side of your waist. Bring the hand either onto the shin or to the inside of the leg. Turning your belly up to the sky. Keep pressing the left hip forward, so that's the top hip. Inhale, bend your front knee. Take the elbow to the thigh and bring the top arm over the ear. Parsvakonasana, extended side angle. Taking the hand to the floor if that's how you practice. Turn your head toward the floor. Take your left hand to the floor, then your right hand. And turn your toes towards the long side of your mat. Bring your hands in front of you. Inhale, lengthen through the chest. Exhale to fold here. Just a couple of breaths. Your wide leg forward bend. Inhale, get long from the base of your spine to the crown. As you exhale, draw the groins up and lower belly up. Take your hands to your hips. Bend your knees a little bit. Come up with a straight back. Come all the way up. Bend your left leg and turn the foot warrior two on this side. Just check that your right leg, that's now your back leg, the heel turns out slightly. Take your gaze towards your front hand, breathing here. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale to bend again. Turn the front arm, palm faces up. Inhale, lift up through the left side waist, dropping that left hip a bit lower. Inhale, back to the center. Straighten your front leg, Trikonasana. So tip the hips back, so you tilt the hips back as you reach forwards. Press that right hip forward, turn the belly. You can either bring your hand onto the shin or to the inside of your leg. Bend your front knee, elbow to thigh, reach the arm over the ear, or take the hand to the inside of the foot all the way to the ground. Breathing into the outside waist. And then take the right hand to the floor, left hand, walk around to the center. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, forward bend here. Exhale. 
If you can easily get your palms to the floor, walk your hands back so they're in line with the feet and you have your elbows above the wrists. Bend your right leg. Walk back round to the original front of your mat, pivoting round into a lunge. Step back to downward dog, pausing here for downward dog, or if you would like, you can take child's pose. Your energy levels might be low to this morning. If they are, rest a little bit more if you need to. From here, walk or step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen through the spine and exhale to fold. Inhale, rising up to stand, reach up tall. Palms together, exhale, hands to the heart. Bring your feet together now, so bring the big toes together. Sit back into your heels, keeping the right leg bent. Step your left foot back. Make sure it's not behind your right foot. Bring the torso back, coming into a lunge, reach the arms up. Bring the hands to the hips. Keep that right knee bent as you step the left foot next to the right. Come back to a chair pose and then straighten the legs. Keep the right foot on the floor and lift the left knee, taking the left hand onto the knee. Then bring the left knee out to the side, flexing that left foot. So it's not tree pose. You want the foot away from the leg, a balance here. If you have space, you can then take your right arm out to the side. And if you want to challenge your balance even more, you can take your gaze towards the right hand. Okay, bring the head and knee back into the center. Keep the foot lifted off the floor and bend the right knee. If you're able to, cross the left thigh over the right. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Reach the arms forwards. Turn the arms to the palms face up, receiving energy for the day. Come back to the center, reach the arms up, bring the left knee up, bring the palms together to the chest. Bend the right knee and step the left foot back to a lunge. Reaching the arms up slowly, taking the hands to the floor. Step to the top of your mat, inhale halfway lift, exhale fold. Bend your knees, sit down into chair pose again, just briefly, taking hands to hips. Keep the left knee bent as you step the right foot back for a lunge. Bring the hands to the chest and then to the hips. Keeping that left knee bent, step back into a chair pose. Come up to stand. Keep the weight in the left foot now. So left foot stays down, right knee lifts. Take the right hand to the knee and take the knee out to the side, flexing your right foot. You can release the left arm to the side. If you want to challenge your balance, you can take your gaze towards the left hand. Bring everything back to the center. Bend your left knee, take the hands to the hips, step your right foot back to a lunge, reach the arms up and step back to downward dog from here. And so from here, if you'd like child's pose, you can take child's pose, stay in downward dog or for a gentle vinyasa, inhale forward to the hands, to plank option to stay in plank coming down through chaturanga into up dog or you can follow me and take your belly down to the floor let's do cobra inhale lifting the chest and exhale to downward dog walk your feet all the way to the top and then come to sit we're going to take a Seated twists, stretching your legs out in front of you, 
Keep the right leg stretched out and bring the left foot to the outside of your right leg. Hug the right elbow around the opposite knee. Reach up through the left arm. Twist to your left, bringing the left hand behind you. Perhaps taking the elbow behind the knee. Come back to the center. Counter twist, so turn your torso the other way, bringing your left arm inside the knee. Come back to the center. Opposite side, so bring right foot to the outside of left leg, left elbow around right knee, lift up tall, reach up through the right arm and then twist to your right. Perhaps taking that elbow to the outside of the knee. Come back to the center, twisting the opposite way, counter twist. Come back to the center, take your legs nice and wide. So if you have tight hamstrings, it's a good idea to sit up on a thick blanket or a block here. So inhale, lift up tall through the chest. Make those legs really active, especially the quadriceps, those thighs, as you fold forward from the hips. So try not to round your back. It doesn't matter how far you go, you could still be seated, seated quite high up. So take some breaths here. Walk your hands all the way back in, swing your legs round so you're on, you're facing the front of your mat and come down onto the floor, all the way onto your back. Taking your feet a little bit wider than hips, bringing the knees apart and the feet together. Stretching your arms above your head, taking an elbow in each hand. And let your whole body surrender now, so let go. Completely let go. Tune into the sensation of your breath in your body. Let the belly relax. The face muscles soften. Stretch out your right leg, then your left leg. Bring your arms down. Take them away from the body, turning the palms up for Shavasana. Eyes becoming soft, the jaws part, the tongue relaxes, the whole of the face becomes soft, letting the whole body, whole body relax. So you're welcome to stay here for longer if you have more time. If you gave yourself 30 minutes, we're at the 30 minute mark. So take your feet onto the ground, rolling onto one side of your body. And gently, slowly pressing yourself up to sit to close your practice. Coming to sit, crossing the shins, bringing the hands onto the knees closing the eyes. Bring your palms together. Placing the thumbs onto the center of the chest at the heart center, bowing head to heart. Gently pressing the palms together. 
Namaste. So take your time to come round and I'd love to know how you're feeling so perhaps before you go put a comment in the, in the box below and if you'd like to do more yoga with me more or less I'm going to be here every Sunday 8.30 a.m. that's British Standard Time GMT. If you'd like to do longer live classes or recorded they will be recorded as well classes with me there's a link in the description of this class so sign up to that link uh, so you get access to my private yoga group on Facebook and then we'll be doing longer hour-long practices there. So yeah, before you go, let me know how you feel and then click that link to sign up to my longer classes and thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your presence. Have a lovely day. Hi Jill. <laughs>Oh, thanks, Steve. Well, feeling good for your five-mile walk. Oh, good. That's good for you. Enjoy your walk. Hi, Laura. Oh, I'm glad you feel relaxed. And Alvina, I'm glad you feel relaxed. That was my aim this morning, for you to feel more relaxed. Remember to click the link if you haven't signed up to my email already so you can get notification when I've got these longer recorded. They're live and recorded, so even if you can't make it live, you can watch later. So this video is going to be posted on my page. So if you uh, want to repeat this practice anytime, you can, uh, but any time of the day. It's not particularly invigorating, invigorating, so you could do it in the evening. I designed it so it was more like opening of the body, grounding, slow. And so you could probably do that even before you go to sleep, as long as you don't rush through it. Hi Sabine, thank you for being here. Hi Sue, thanks. Oh good, being ready and awake for the day, that's a good thing. <laughs> Brilliant. So I'm gonna say bye now and the next live that I'm doing here will be in two weeks time, but um, you might be watching this as a recorded class. So just keep an eye on my page, follow my page um, and I'll keep you updated. Have a lovely day, bye.